Scott, good morning to you, Ashley Brown. Good morning. Praying the steps this morning. You're going to deal with soggy conditions, rain and cooler conditions. But as we go hour by hour through the day, I can tell you that it gets better. But right now I'm getting a view of Great American Ballpark, some light rain falling there. It's pretty light throughout the area. We haven't seen any heavy pockets of rain, and these showers have been sliding from west to northeast throughout the morning hours here. You can see there's quite a bit of rain looking off to our west, so that's a lot of rain that's going to slide through the area. Steady rain for the next several hours. Hours. You can see it now from Okeana to cold rain there into Hamilton. Some light rain for you. We zoom in a little closer to Great American Ballpark there, or Randy is there, Alexis is there, Colin is there, and they're all sporting their rain gear this morning because they'll need it for the next several hours as these showers will continue to slide through the area. So rain through the morning hours. The morning commute pretty soggy, just like yesterday and the day before. But right around noon, we'll start to break apart these showers. You'll see them start to diminish. I can't say they will wipe them clearly away, but they'll diminish. And as they do so, I think we'll see just a few isolated showers as we get into the lunch hour and then after the lunch hour, a few isolated showers remaining mainly south. So the radar will keep our eye on it today, but we do know that those showers will break apart right now. Showers at 43 degrees, but it feels like the upper 30s at 7 a.m. We're cloudy at 40 degrees by 9 o'clock. A few showers out there will make it back to 43 by noon. First pitch forecast 50 degrees cloudy and mild still pretty damp out there for you if you're headed to Great American Ballpark today. As we get into tomorrow, we'll start out with a little sunshine. You deserve a little sunshine, but gusty winds will be a problem tomorrow. We'll have winds gusting at 25 to 35 miles per hour. What a windy Saturday you'll have. And with that wind driven warm up, we'll also see a few isolated showers develop after around 4 or 5 p.m. sliding over the area. It's pretty light rain, but it's with us. I think some heavier downpours possible on Saturday night into Sunday as the front passes. Now, the temperature trend a little tricky here. Saturday is a warmer day. It will not rain all day, mainly in the evening hours, 59 degrees. As the front passes, it is a cold front, so Easter Sunday looks cooler. The good news is that Easter Sunday looks dry, so, you know, I mean, beat a jacket over uh, the kids' uh, Easter Sunday outfit there as they go Easter egg hunting, uh, as you'll deal with temperatures in the 40s. By Monday, rain pretty late, so I think we're A-OK -okay for the parade. Monday night into Tuesday, we'll deal with those showers. Showers throughout the day on Tuesday. Tuesday briefly drying out on Wednesday before we bring rain back on Thursday. So we are dealing with rain this morning. Vanessa, the good news is by first pitch at 410. We're going to see those showers diminish, and I know everyone's excited about that. I know.